What's up, Blizzard Nation? <laughs> Welcome back to Strictly Blizzness, episode 93. 93. 93 episodes. Not possible without our great partners. Mm. Got it right away this time. Edge VR and Creative Edge Productions. As well as Werner Electric. Thank you both. Stay classy. <laughs> it's a little punchy, isn't it, for it a is. Monday? Yep. Did you have a good I week? Uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't. Yeah, I did. You had I didn't a good do week a lot. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just decompressed with family. Yep. Happy was Easter, it. everybody. Happy Easter, Blizzard Nation. Yes. We're past the Easter mark now. So now it should be spring. Mm-hmm. I noticed. Yeah. It, well, it got really nice over the weekend, at yeah. least here in Wisconsin. It it's did. It's supposed to be a week of nice and then cold again, which is great, actually, because it's the home game week. So. <laughs> Not this week. Right. The week after. This week, you can go swimming. Next week, you should come to an indoor football game. Yes. Yeah. This week, we are going to be in Sioux Falls. Yep. Uh, should be a good game. Sioux Falls did win against Iowa over the weekend. Yep. Uh, we'll get into that in just a minute. Uh, we'll talk about the IFL and everything that happened this weekend in the IFL. Yes. But speaking of in the IFL, I wonder how many of our fans know that Todd Tryon, our commissioner, actually does a show called... Inside the IFL. I get it right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it sounded so... <laughs> inside the <laughs> IFL. Yes, he does a show weekly... Uh, that is kind of a showcase of the teams that are playing that weekend, but then also does some little tidbits with specific players and coaches. So he does actual interviews on his show. Yes, he got the idea from us, just saying, but (laughs) all good. All good. Yeah. We had some comments on last episode. Do you want to go there first? Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to read them because there's... I don't want to miss them. BJ so said, important. thanks thanks for your help. Yep. BJ Stefan said, thanks for handling the Karen situation. <laughs> uh, Mitch Nolan said in uh, Des Moines, also known as Des Moines. Um, Des Moines. You can't bring the ninth man flag in because a pole is considered a weapon. <laughs> so, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I kind of like that. Yet you can bring in a cowbell that you could... Very easily hit somebody, hit somebody over with, the head. Yeah. yeah. But he still says that is one of the best places to see a away game is Iowa. Um, we got a thank from Anthony Wilson for all of our hard work. And then Mitch had a question for you as a super Disney person. What's your take on the Disney Star Wars stuff? Oh, that's like an episode in it itself. Is. Yeah. To be continued. Yeah. <laughs> Next well, week on. That's a wide. There's a lot of Disney. Star I think he meant Wars at stuff. the park. That's my guess. Oh, in theory. because we were still talking about we were talking about parks yeah. that episode. Okay. Um, so Hollywood Studios <laughs> and Star Wars. It is my sister and I. The first time we walked in there, out of because um, you you kind of go from Toy Story Land yep. into you go from being in the backyard as a toy into Star Wars. And I have to say, the one thing that Disney is fantastic with is transitioning from one part of a park to another. Yeah. So you go from these whimsical noises of being a toy into you hear the you hear all of the landing of ships, you hear just background noise, you hear winds, you just so many things. It's it's a really cool transition. So I think Disney gets an A plus for that. They're much better at it than Universal sure. is. Um, when you enter into another part of the park, such as Star Wars, uh, you feel immersed, I feel. Yep. I mean, you've been there. I have, yeah. What do you think? Same. I mean, like, <laughs> you're not really helping me much today. <laughs> well, it's accurate. Um, it is. It's, they do a really good job of, like, when you're in Harry Potter Land and Universal, it's incredible, but, like, transitioning. Um, I mean, they do a good job with the train and stuff, but, yeah, you're right. Disney does a great job of feeling it from park to park. Yeah, so. I mean, when you walk through the wall. Yeah. To get into Diagon Alley, it, it is it does feel kind of strange, and yeah. you hear the the bricks moving and stuff, which is cool. But the, it's truly a transition for Hollywood Studios. Yeah, Mitch, if that was Disney Plus related, we can answer that oh, one yeah, in a different we, episode. Yeah, so. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I just I think of when when you're in that part of the park, you know, you see characters from the movies, you see characters. Um, that were developed because of different snippets of the movies. Yep. Um, Oga's Cantina is fabulous. If you ever get a chance to go there, do that. Yeah. Yeah. I loved it. I did. It was great. What did you Sorry. love about it? 
Uh, it's. I think it's the best of that now again. <laughs> You're so descriptive. I'm really bad right today. Um, I'm putting you, you on the spot. Yeah. That's my favorite. Because I know you're Disney a Star parks. Wars freak. So. Yeah, they do a really good job. I mean, the lightsaber thing was incredible. My kids built one. I didn't. I watched it, which was really neat. Um, and I think that's just different season of life, right? I went to a concert with them this past week, and I enjoyed watching them watch the concert more than I... I mean, the concert was incredible, but like it was really cool to watch them take one in, and that was mm-hmm. different for Star Wars Land. Um, I think the characters were just starting to come back out and engage when we were there. You still had to be a ways away from them. When we, our visit there, but they did an incredible job. Like the experience stuff of droid building and lightsaber building is really cool. The food and drink is insane in there. Mm-hmm. So, the shopping. Yep. You feel like you're in a market on another world, literally. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I have a droid. Nice. He's in my office. With two droids in my basement. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take him out today, I think. <laughs> nice. Run him around the office. So, if that answered your question, Mitch, if that was show related, I apologize. Yeah, we're assuming of, it's park related. Yes. Okay. What this weekend in the IFL. That was it for the comments? That was it. There's four of them. Yep. No one is suggesting what we do for the 100th episode. No. There are zero comments related to that. Hmm. Interesting. Yep. So inside the IFL this weekend, <laughs> we, had some, we had one really close game between San Diego Strike Force and the Vegas Knights. Uh, one point differential. Yeah. Yeah. And then we had some blowouts. Yep. Yeah. Like different kind of blow. <laughs> no, well, <laughs> he has every right to be blowing sure. up yep. after his game. We had a coach that, um, and you all know we're, we're very respectful of Kevin, and Kevin is a very passionate coach for the Arizona Rattlers, very passionate man just in general, and football is a lifeline for him. And he got upset, and he rightfully got upset because he was – the, rewind when we do stuff in the IFL and we've talked about this on several shows now that last minute of the game is very very yep. important because you can go from being down by one or two scores to winning the game and that's the position that he was in and unfortunately the refs were wrong and this is one of those instances where a ref will cost you a game and it literally cost him a game. It also cost him having to get off the field and having to get out of participating even on the sidelines. So he was ejected from the game for his behavior. He had every right to be upset, though. Every right. And if you haven't seen the game, go back and watch the Tucson-Arizona uh, Rattlers game because this isn't – we're not reporting on Arizona football here. Go back in and, and watch it. And yeah. you can, can always weigh in and give us your opinion on uh, what you thought. I will say, you know, Sioux Falls beat, beat Iowa by quite a bit. I think Iowa's going to struggle a little bit in getting their quarterback in a rhythm. Sure. I think it's going to take some time. Um, as you know, their quarterback was – their first string quarterback was injured during our game early on in the game. Um, obviously, is not back. I think it's season ending. I don't know that for sure. But um, it's going to take them a little while to get that rhythm. They still have some great players yeah. on their team. They have a, a great team. Um, they were coming back, but I know a lot of teams, us included, wish there was a fifth quarter you were playing yeah. because you, you get your rhythm back <laughs> right. mid-fourth, but you're down by too many, too many scores to catch up. Yeah. So um, as of right now, in the West, Tucson is undefeated. Yeah. Now, granted, we're only for some of these teams, we're, we're two or three games in, so undefeated, you know, means something um in our on our side it's anybody's game at this point um big matchup this coming weekend though is the top two play each other so it's going to be mass and frisco oh yeah so we'll see what in, what happens there in frisco or in mass i think it's in frisco okay. i'd have to look i didn't i didn't like look at the schedule before Same. i came in so. i didn't watch a game over the weekend <gasps> i apologize so oh, i watched all the games <laughs> i was really into nice watching them this weekend yeah. I figure if I'm really invested, maybe we'll end up in the playoffs. <laughs> I don't know how that works. <laughs> you just have to, as Larry said, you got to root for them. So I'm rooting for everybody. Oh, okay. I will say that um, from a feed perspective, um, you know, it's, it's tough when it's Easter weekend. You have a lot of people that travel Easter weekend. But again, our dates 
are set by what our mm -hmm. arenas can give us. So if the arena doesn't have a date available, you don't play that weekend. Right. So obviously there were arena dates available. It didn't look like there were big crowds in some of those venues, uh, but it's still, the feed looks great. The feed worked. There's still some bugs to work out with score bugs. Sometimes you can't always see them. And I think it depends if you're watching it on TV, because I would switch from TV to my phone every once in a while. Yeah. And on my phone, it was horrible. And on the TV, it was, eh. But yeah, that's my two cents. Got it. <laughs> you cracked me. Oh, I don't get it. <laughs> you got, just you like just riding said, shotgun I, this episode. You said, like. <laughs> got it. And then you went, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand. So this weekend, we are in Sioux Falls on Sunday. That is a 5.05, I believe, Central Standard Time kick. Uh, come out to replay. Uh, replay Sports Bar and Grill. We will be there for an away game view party. So what time should they be at replay? A 9 a.m. That's not true. <laughs> I think. Uh, I mean, we'll probably be there by 4, 4.30. I'd have to check with Nap and Salinas, who was hosting that one. Um, but that is a great spot and been with us for nine years. Replay has. Great so. food. Yep. Great food. Yep. Great burgers. Um, so if you get a chance, please stop out and see us. I will not be there, unfortunately. You're somewhere again? <laughs> well, so somebody had a 40th. You need like a GPS tracker yeah, or a yeah. bell on you, my chance. Yeah. No bells. Please, no bells. No, I am going to be spying it. Spying? Spa. Oh, spa. Those are two very different things in case spying. anyone's spying versus I'm not spying. spying in the spa. No, I will be spying. So somebody had a 40th birthday or will have a 40th birthday oh, this it. week, Thursday. Okay. Her gift from her dad and I is a spa day. So got it. I have to go too. That's fair. Can't just give yep. it to her. <laughs> so we're going to be there all afternoon. And then your husband's going to the game, correct? My husband will be all at right. the game with her children. Cool. So Bryce and Haley um, are going to the game, and yeah, with Pop Pop and Jeremy. Nice. So Larry will be there. You'll be able to see him somewhere doing this. <laughs> this is his pose. <laughs> that is you can see it him at any he, ifl game yes. that he attends including our own <laughs> yes if he gets to stand he'll be up on the boards like this yep if he's sitting he'll be leaning forward like this nice he's gonna love me i don't, um, I don't know how much he watches these episodes. we'll find out <laughs> <laughs> thanks blondie yep in other Blizzard news, so two youth camps by the time you'll have watched this will be live. So our youth camp uh, for younger age and then the Jermichael, which is also our youth camp partnering with him. That one's already live, but be sure you check out those because the Blizzard youth youth camp <laughs> uh, sold out last season. So is Blizzard youth youth? Yeah, youth youth. Is that yeah. what we're calling them? Is yeah, youth, youth, and youth youth and not youth youth. <laughs> the youths? So, and just the way it worked out too, because it just makes sense. Uh, our youth camp comes with a ticket to May 5th kids free laser show. So that is oh one boy. way you can get a ticket to a sold out game by attending the youth camp. And well, then your parents, kid can. yep. And then parents have the option to purchase tickets at the time of registration to a game that was sold out last season. So because of the same weekend, it right. just made sense. So yeah, Good. those two will be up and running. Excellent. Yeah. So those of you that have kids, go ahead and sign up. Those of you that know people that have children that would be in that those age groups, please forward on, go, get on our social media, share it, share it, share it. We yep. want to sell these out and sell them out quick. Yep. Um, there's no reason why we can't sell them out. No. I mean, last year, like Ryan said, they sold out the, the youth camp. The youth youth camp yeah sold out right away and i put them we started to put them by ages because it made sense because we had it by ages last year too so if you have a question if you have a eighth going into ninth or a twelfth going into a 13 year old just reach out because i've had a couple parents be like eh, my kid just wants to come play and get active and then i have some where mine's about i want to be serious about football so if you're on the in-between age of our younger age and then your michael camp we'll get you in the right camp um yeah. Yep. And you don't mean 12th to 13th Not grade, year. age. Yeah. You grade. Yeah, age. You said yeah. age. But you <laughs> Check out grade. the web. It has all the correct information. Yeah, just, just go there. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 So people have been great about asking questions. So Good. We, there are some that like we just want to do the youth one still. I'm like, that's fine. You're not too old for it. So, so let's talk about our next home game yeah. just a little bit because that is a big game. 
Um, it's the 21st. 21st. Friday night. 6.05. And you got any specials? Doors at five. That's a special. <laughs> um, youth jersey to the first 1,500 oh, kids. Oh, that's 12 the and under. So we have also, a giveaway. Double bubble, too. Yeah, we yep. have a giveaway. And... I want to give a shout out to some people that have supported us, supported us at the door with these giveaways. Sure. Um, shout out to Linda and Mark. We call him Uncle Mark. Um, and then also her sister, Mary, and her husband, Jerry, because they do help with yep. some of that handout. I saw them over the weekend and they watched the show religiously. So oh. Linda said- <laughs> They know what's coming yeah. on this game. So. <laughs> yeah. So they, she said to me, how early should we be there? Do you think you'll open the door by four? And I said- I don't think so. Not by four. Don't quote me on that. But, but not for I mean, sure, I mean, by five o'clock, for sure. If the line is blocking Oneida Street, that's a different then thing. Then we have to, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, ooh, it's going to be crazy. Yep. And we'll be in our track suits. Uh, we have a, we don't know what time to tell you to be there policy at the office. So you can call all you want. You can search the web. You can search Strictly Business episodes. We just not going to be the one that tells you to be there. Yeah. Late. Um, yeah, I will don't. tell you, people lined up crazy early, and the doors open at five. So yeah. yep. doors open at five. People sit down in the lobby, yep. bring a snack, all of that. <laughs> yeah, we'll be circulating. We will have our mascots circulating so that you can get pictures taken. Um, if it's nice out, we'll even walk the line outside. Yeah, it'll look like a big picket line. Yeah, which is pretty cool, actually. Yeah, we should get some footage of that. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah. I so, ordered a thousand tickets leading into the weekend. <laughs> it's the first time I've had to label that many. So, yeah. So uh, that's not yeah. this weekend. That's next weekend. Next week, Friday. Next Friday. Yep. Yeah. And a back to back against Sioux Falls. So we play them there this week and then home the following week. Correct. So we're hoping for two wins. We have never beaten them at their home field. So it'd be really cool if we could. Yep. And it took us a while to beat them on our <laughs> yeah, home field, yeah. but we did it last year. So. Yeah, you saw a movie. I actually did not. So. You didn't end up no, going? No, we were on overload activities. So Yeah. Yep. So I went to see Mario Brothers, um, took Bryce and Haley with uh, Caitlin to go see it. And they're big Mario Brothers. They love the game. Yeah. Every time Caitlin asks me to play the game, because <laughs> she's so good at it, she'll look at me, Mom, why aren't you blah, blah, blah. Why don't you blah, blah. <laughs> And I'm like, because I don't know what I'm doing. I know that this little turtle does something and this mushroom does something and I'm supposed to eat the star, but I'm you not fast eat enough. eat the star, you grab well, the Well, you star. grab it, but then you like consume it. Well, you That's grab true. it. and Yeah, I think you absorb whatever. it. Whatever. Okay. So it's like eating. I guess, yes. Anyway, so I'm not very good at it. You know where a great place is to learn about video games? Where, Ryan? Edge VR Arcade. Oh my goodness, what a plug. That what a fabulous. great plug. <laughs> That would be a great thing it to do. It would be. I think we had some players. Super Smash Bros. stuff all the time here. Really? Yep. We had the players here yeah, we last did. week yep. for Media Day. If you have not seen the footage of that, you should check it out. Where can they find that? On the Edge VR social page. Correct? Got it. Knew it without Look asking. You. Look at you. <laughs> We're probably even tagged in it and probably shared it as well. So you <laughs> yes, can find yes, it. You can find it yep. somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. So what was the verdict on the movie? The movie was great. Awesome. Um, the little bit that I've played the game, uh, it did a good job of paying tribute to the game. There was enough adult humor in there where this guy was sitting next to me and he had three small children. Like one was really, really small. Um, and he would shout out things like, Luigi! And <laughs> <laughs> at random times. Uh, it was really cute. Nice. Um, lots of paper rustling, but I, I gave everybody <laughs> grace because they were all kids. Um, but he and I would chuckle every once in a while and, you know, you wouldn't hear anybody else laughing. Yep. So Jack Black does a great job in it. <laughs> Chris Pratt, I couldn't, you, only once in a while you could tell that it was him, but he did a great job of sure. covering up his voice. But um, there's obviously going to be another one based on the credits at the end. So I'm not cool. going to destroy anything for you. Awesome. But if you want to see it again, I'll go see it again. It was that good. Yeah. I liked it. We will definitely have to go see it. And more importantly, the kids liked it. Yep. So that's even more important. Awesome. Yeah. That's what I got. There should be a reload of merch and new merch coming. I do not know if it'll be in our hands for next week's episode, but it will be at next week's game. So, okay. Yep. Good. I have a public service announcement. Yes. 
I do. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> it's not a rant. It's just, it's to make you all look more intelligent at our <laughs> games okay. and throughout the IFL. <laughs> okay. It's just a public service announcement. So we have a screen here in the studio that's right here off to my left. Were you doing semaphore now? Yeah, no. It's off to my left. So normally when you're in the stands and people see that they're, they're on the screen yep. and they're like waving at the screen, can you see what's happening with me on the camera right here? <laughs> Find the camera, look in the camera, everybody, and if you wave at the camera, no, you can't see yourself on the screen, but if you look at the screen, you see the side of your face on nice. the screen. Yep. So that's my public service announcement. I yeah. love Every arena in the IFL has a kiss cam, a dance cam, right. some kind of cam, and the people, when they notice that they're on the screen, they look at the screen and wave instead of looking at the camera and waving. So that's my that's my public service. Be sure for. you're paying attention too, because our friends from Edge VR, Creative Edge, will be in the building getting some footage for future Blizzard stuff. So you could ooh, you could you be could make on. an episode of Strictly Blizzness. Probably not, but look for their camera. <laughs> well, they could. They could. Yeah, they really could. We're gonna be could. running around in, in our tracksuits. So literally running away from people well, in our tracksuits. Yes, you're out of jerseys. Maybe they'll get us. I know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do they? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I have not published your address on the website. You please don't. <laughs> okay, got it. Okay. Oh, now people are going to go look at Yeah, you. they are going to. Yep. All right. Well, that's what I know. Yeah. So see you at replay on Sunday. And then uh, be sure to the grab game. tickets for the April 21st Blizzard game and get there early if you want a jersey. Buy one, get one on Bud Light. And Bud, and then I think I will find out probably by the time this episode's aired, we might bring back the white cheddar popcorn, white Gatorade. Oh, that'd be for nice. All the kids that'll be in attendance, yeah. So yeah, yep. good. They, I, we're going to have more concession stands open. We are. That is already confirmed. So yes. with Excellent. that many people in the building, um, yeah. We thank you for your patience in for waiting in line. We're going to change up the concessions just a little bit, adding more, but then also kind of diminishing what's actually. We make it faster. So yeah. with that many people able in the building. What you're so. able to order. Yep. Yeah. Good stuff. Indeed. Should we hit them with it? Before we do, uh -oh. <laughs> those of you that are really paying attention, tell us what's different about the set. Yes. We'll just see if they're do. paying attention. Yep. yep. We'll see. Okay. You will win nothing. <laughs> you will get a shout out okay yeah there you go yeah there you go we'll give you a shout out which we do anyways when you comment so True. so you get a double yeah get you a get double, double shout, shout out. out yeah now yeah. should we hit him with it let's hit him with it go, go blizz, blizz. <laughs> don't forget to like follow subscribe share and ring that notification bell to get all of our content in your inbox